91% of the code bases assessed for risk contain components that were 10 versions or more behind the most current version of the component. Figure 1. 1,067 code bases scanned by industry, percentage of code bases containing open source, so this will be in yellow, and percentage of code bases containing code originating from open source, this will be in this bluish color. 100% of these industries have code bases that use open source. 69% <laughs> have code that originates from open source. So aerospace, aviation, automotive, transportation, and logistics. Computer hardware and semiconductors, even more so on both counts. I mean, not more so on 100%. 84% of code bases contained at least one open source vulnerability. In 2022, you had a 48% code bases containing high risk vulnerabilities. In 2023, it jumped up to 74%. That is a 54% increase in vulnerabilities in open source. There is no single answer for the 54%, 26 percentage points in high risk vulnerabilities. One possible explanation is the economic downturn and consequent layoffs, which reduce the number of resources available to locate and patch vulnerabilities. Additionally, 91% of the code bases were found to contain components 10 versions or more behind the most current available version of the component. So they essentially, they're like, uh, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Eight of the top 10 vulnerabilities map to one Pillar CWE, CWE 707, that is a single vulnerability, which addresses security requirements that are not being met and can lead to exploits such as cross-site scripting and squeal injection. And here is 707. It is improper neutralization, which includes things like uh, filtering, encoding, decoding, escaping, unescaping, validation, etc. I want to say it again. Eight of the top 10 vulnerabilities map to this one freaking vulnerability again jquery again jquery again jquery again jquery bootstrap finally oh but we're right back to jquery and now jquery ui just to kind of you know give it that nice round off so i mean jquery is not doing so hot in 2023 you know when it comes to these statistics here uh but uh, you do have to consider that it is um singular um vulnerabilities and the percentage of like prevalence to this one vulnerability and what is the highest or what is the most um used entry point to this vulnerability and so in this case jquery takes the cake okay 